I was doing engineering. Uh, I always wanted to get into a niche field which doesn't demand, you know, I mean, which which is which is not carrying out unnecessary work, which is al- always carrying challenging work, which has exponential growth to be precise. Hence, cybersecurity came to my interest. That is when I decided I wanted to land into cybersecurity. So when I started uh, pursuing about cybersecurity, I was finding for the right course and uh, where it should cover all the 360 parameters, you should understand all the details and stuff. And maybe that's when I come across CEH. CEH helped me to build my foundation so strong that, you know, uh, I think uh, it has helped me till date. And uh, it is an absolute amazing certification course. I think it has definitely added to helping me finding out my specialization. So, and with that, I always wanted to, you know, upskill into multi- multiple domains. So after pursuing CEH, I started doing the computer hacking forensics investigator. I, I did incident handler, certified incident handler, which is also from EC Council. Then I landed into compliance level certifications, being a data protection officer. So with all these credentials in hand, uh, you know, I was able to land myself a good job at a Fortune 500 company. I also own a few accolades, which you, you can say it's a hall of fame for, you know, valuable contribution to uh, a company for in, in terms of security research. So, yes, uh, I do hold hall of fame into, you can say, MasterCard, Fitbit, you know, so all these companies, I hold hall of fame. Um, you can in my current work of tenure, what I have faced and I have seen is a major lack of awareness. So, what what I have gone through, what I have experienced, it is it is adding into exponential efforts and undesirable costs at the end, if not taken at the right time. I think my journey speaks. Uh, it is a very plain tip. I decided to dive into a niche industry uh, where my work had to be valued. I wanted to get into research work, and uh, that's how I decided my journey. After having all these credentials in hand obviously your growth you are not going to stop so it is when i decided to be the best i want basically i wanted to upskill into specific domain especially penetration testing because i am all, all into a lot of bug bounty then bug vulnerability management and stuff comes into day by day so when i decided i wanted to upskill uh, that's when you know i decided about searching the right courses obviously ec council has been a guiding light for me i started my journey with ec council and uh, that's when I knew that it had to had something the best in market and I think that's when it caught my attention and here we are. It was, you know, when I was searching for the right course, okay, when CPET came to my attention, uh, I had seen that most professionals have labeled CPET as insanely difficult. And uh, now I do agree, but uh, so according to me, I wanted to experience this journey religiously and because it it will definitely, it is going to help me outshine. Uh, You know, uh, I, a ballpark figure of around, I have put in around 800 to 900 hours of training and experience before getting confident of appearing the exam. So I think that is when when you require right amount of time to you know curate and you know get feed the knowledge whatever you need i think it is wonderful to have the practice labs the way it was created and i think it is the best part it is it is exceptional and uh, yeah that's it so difficult yes it was i it's my previous answer says it all the sepent actually you know when i started you know pursuing the course I understood the course is actually designed on the real world scenario. So most of the scenarios we come across day to day, but with the advancement of the technology into the current, you know, current world scenario, the new inclusions of the IoT and operational technology, the security with respect to that, that was the hardest part for me. So, and I would actually agree that it is one of the toughest to crack because if you if you know the count of CPEN professionals globally, I think there are, uh, you know, uh, 100 plus professionals certified globally. I think the count only makes 
uh, it's self explanatory so come before coming to uh, the technicalities uh, of what i like as when i started my journey into security uh, i always learned that there are script kiddies and you know people who follow the tools and stuff but after doing cpend my vision has changed my i mean now for every you know exploits self writing is must self writing is important that's how you will upskill the knowledge that is there and uh, most importantly cpend has changed the vision it has it is motivation it's it's providing motivation to be the best and i think that's uh the best part of this course uh, apart from that yes real world scenarios the labs are the best and the level of detailing into the course outline i think that is the, the comprehensive i think that is the best part of this course labs i mean i have always you know i have appreciated the lab work uh, given before questions as well okay these labs have no comparison that is that is my view uh there are a lot of labs we do there are a lot of vulnerable boxes we play with okay but in working on these labs i think um, it's it's a class apart uh, so that's that is what i i believe so uh, i think penetration testing itself is you know across all aspects is something that comes up on the day to day basis see tools yes but then after doing cpent it is now you know motivating me to develop tools and i think that's my vision head now so whatever penetration testing market available tools commercial tools are there okay yes that we use but uh, apart from that self development for the exploits and tools i think that is where i am more excited about and uh none other programs than cpent would have motivated to do so i have seen cpent claiming to be you know developing the world class penetration testers maybe you can say the best in class but my experience after doing cpent is i have i've got a difference in mind so for me that there, there are then there are penetration testers and then there are elite penetration testers so it has definitely helped me outshine at work in career progress progress and um, see uh, definitely as i also told previously there are only 100 plus cpent certified professionals globally okay so it is it is not a tough i mean it is not a easy job to do it is a tough job to crack and uh, the demand and it it is it is very fruitful the, i mean the whatever you know cpent has done for me it has it has been very fruitful i mean i am able to outshine my work outshine myself in the industry in the market and in fact in my corporate work as well so i think that's how it has helped me you know outshine i feel uh, that see while doing a my analysis for uh, such a certified course i had actually gone through a lot many courses available in the market but uh, what i have felt is that these programs are a bit overrated these days and uh, people you know they are blindly run for it without knowing the actual value of the program cpent is a big plus in you know proper scaling methodology and its processes which a penetration tester needs so this is how cpent is actually adding special value to a portfolio and i think uh, this is a big 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 difference why cpen is you know much better the best in class in the market as currently as of now yeah so ideally this is funny because you know i, I did not in fact uh, decide anything before you know i mean there is no road map i did it's just that uh, my advice would be firstly believe in yourself that is the main thing and uh, what i have experienced is every building needs a strong foundation and and that is a truth so all of the training religiously all of the labs i think uh, practice is the key to the success and you know stay confident and and obviously most importantly stay secure i think that's it